So how do you get uh, viral images? Once again, go to viral.cisco.com, click on get a viral, and then purchase a viral subscription. If you already have one, click login, and then login to cisco.com. Click on my account. And then click download viral. You need to have an active viral license to download the viral software. So in this example, my license is active. So I'm gonna click download viral. I'm redirected to the viral download website. Now I've heard a lot of guys saying that viral images are not downloadable. That is not true. To see the viral images, simply click expand all. And then in the list on the left, you'll see options such as iOS V or iOS V layer two. So in this example, I'm gonna download the latest iOS V layer two image. So I'm gonna click on download. I'm gonna accept the license agreement. And as you can see here, the viral image is being downloaded to my local computer. I could do something similar with iOS V. Now the dates and versions are strange on the Cisco website. This is an older release than this release. So I'm gonna download 15.6.2, click accept a license agreement, and then once again, that will be downloaded to my local computer. Now to add the device to Genius 3, I'm gonna to go to Switches. Select Available Appliances. Select iOS V Layer 2. The Add Appliance Wizard is displayed. We told that this is a multi-layer switch. Product is iOS V Layer 2. Cisco is the vendor. KVM is required, which means that we need to be using the GNS3 VM. In this example, I am using the GNS3 VM. Running in VMware Fusion. I am in this example using a Mac, but the process is very similar to Windows. So I'm gonna click Next. You need to run this appliance on the GNS3 VM, which I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna click Next. I'm told that my GNS3 server requirements are okay. I'm gonna click Next. And notice, GNS3 has already found multiple images in my downloads directory. Now the image that I downloaded is this image ending in 2017. So that's the one that I wanna import into GNS3. If it's not found, click import and then browse to your downloads directory and select the image. That will then upload the image to the GNS3 VM. Now this once again has been found by GNS3, as we can see over here. So it's ready to be installed. So I can click on iOS V layer two, 15.2 and click next. I'm asked whether I wanna install this device and the answer is yes. I'm gonna leave QMU settings at the default and click next. A summary of settings is displayed. Notice the amount of RAM required to run one of these devices. 768 meg of RAM, console type is Telnet. Number of adapters is 16. I'm gonna click next. We told that there is no default password and no default configuration. I'm gonna click finish. Now in this example, I've previously imported to this device, so I'm getting a warning. So what I'll do here is simply rename it as Cisco iOS V layer two viral demo. So in other words, give it a different name. I've now been told that that device has been installed. So under installed appliances, I now have this device, which I can drag to the Genius 3 workspace and which I can then boot up and then open up a console. And as you can see here, iOS V is booting up. It's an iOS V layer two image. So in other words, I've successfully imported this device into GNS3, and I've shown you how to go to viral.cisco.com and download the image. 
Now again, a lot of people are saying that you cannot download images from the viral website. That's not true. I've just shown you how to do that. When you log in, make sure that you click expand all, and then you'll see all the images that you can download. So once again, back in GNS3, notice this appliance has now booted up. And there you go. So show version as an example. We can see that this is a Cisco iOS V layer two image. Notice the name over here. So there we go. Cisco iOS V layer two is running in GNS3. And now let's look at how to download Dynamips images. So currently on the GNS3 documentation, we told that various iOS images are available. GNS3 allows you to run older images using Dynamips. So in GNS3, under routers as an example, available appliances, you'll see many older images. However, this is the only current download link available on the Cisco website. You cannot download other images. So on the GNS3 documentation as an example, if I have a look at 3725 images, these are the images that are supported in GNS3. So you'll need to provide this image by getting it off a physical router. You can't download this image from cisco.com anymore. And the same is true for the other images. 7200 images, however, are available. And one of the reasons to use a 7200 image is that you get a version 15 of Cisco iOS. This is the file name that we want. So when I go to cisco.com, go to this download link, and I search for that image, that is the image that I want to download from cisco.com. Amount of RAM and flash required is 512 meg and 64 meg. I can click download to download that image. A software advisory is displayed because there is at least one serious issue with the software. That's not a problem in our example because we're using this in a lab. Now you will need a service contract to download this image. So you'll need to log in and have the correct rights to download the image. So you simply log in and then download the image to your local computer. Once you've downloaded it, go to routers. And in this example, don't use this available appliance. The problem with this is that it requires a specific version of image. So it's looking for 12.424T5, which is a different image to the one that I'm downloading here. So be careful with this wizard. It's looking for a specific version. You can click import to import a different version, but I'm simply gonna go to GNS3 preferences, and I'm gonna change my GNS3 preferences. And in this example, I'm gonna go to Dynamips, iOS routers, and add a new iOS router. I'm gonna run this router on the GNS3 VM. In this example, I'm going to select a new image. I'm going to click Browse and Browse to where I've downloaded the file. So under my Downloads directory, this is the operating system that I've downloaded from Cisco.com. So again, go to Cisco.com. We're going to download this image from the Cisco website. I've downloaded that to my local hard drive. And what I've done is go to GNS3 Preferences gone to Dynamips, iOS routers, clicked new. In my example, I wanna run this on the GNS3 VM. You could run this locally if you don't have the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna click new image, browse, browse to my downloads directory, select that image, and then allow GNS3 to decompress that image, which will allow it to boot quicker. So yes, to decompress it. The image is then uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Click Next. Give it a name, such as 7200, iOS 15, and I'm running this on the GNS3 VM. Click Next. This device requires 512 meg of RAM. Click Next. 
I'm going to add some interfaces to the router and then click next. I want to have an idle PC value. So I'm going to click idle PC finder because one wasn't found in this example. So you simply need to wait for GNS3 to find an idle PC value for this device. That could take a while, but notice mine has been found. So that's good. I'm going to click finish and click OK. And now under routers, installed appliances, I have this new router that I just added to GNS3. I'll start that up and open up a console to the router. And as you can see here, 7200 routers booting up. Now while that's booting up, I could connect these devices via their Ethernet interfaces. So I have a Cisco Viral Layer 2 image and a 7200 image. Notice the 7200 series router has now booted up. Show version shows me that I'm running a 7200 series iOS router. We can see the version of software once again. So there you go. I've now shown you how to import both a Cisco Viral device into GNS3 as well as a Cisco iOS Dynamips router. So in summary, GNS3 supports Viral images, supports Dynamips images. GNS3 actually supports images from many vendors. So under available appliances, you can see a large list of routers that are supported or a list of switches that are supported. Vendors such as Arista and Cumulus make their images freely available. You simply need to register on their website and you can download the images. Some vendors such as Cisco and Juniper don't make their images freely available. You need to either pay or have some kind of a license agreement with those vendors to get software images. That's not something that either I or GNS3 control. That is a vendor decision. So you need to direct your complaints to Cisco. They don't make their images freely available. However, you can get a lot of great images from Cisco by purchasing a viral license. So for $200 a year, you can get access to iOS V, iOS V Layer 2, Nexus, and ASA images. Now, a lot of people say that they want everything for free. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work like that in life. Sometimes you have to pay for access to images. I've been in networking for many years, and let me tell you, in the past, it was much, much more expensive to get a lab together. You had to buy physical equipment. $200 a year is a small price to pay today when compared to what it used to cost. I know for a lot of us that's still expensive, but compared to what it used to cost to run labs, this isn't that expensive. But with that being said, please don't send me hate mail or dislike this video because you want everything for free. You need to direct those complaints to Cisco. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like this video if it has been of benefit and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.